Hey guys, Reno's4 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure my Majora's Mask's AdventureCraft script. So after installing it from my forum page, which you can go to from a link below, you're going to want to open the zip file as well as your AdventureCraft folder. Go into Maps, and go into your folder. I do not currently have one, so I'll create a new one. We'll name it MM Installation. open up your folder and now if you already have folders in here you're going to need to check between these but I do not so I'm just going to copy and paste them all over now if you have matching folders let's say you already had an armor folder go into that folder as well as the matching one here now if none of the files in here match the names of the ones in here just copy and paste everything over to here if you do have matching names though you're going to need to check the file image whatever it is and see if they match exactly or not. If they match exactly, just delete one of them. You only need one. If they do not match exactly, though, you may have, or probably will have, a clashing issue between scripts that will need to be fixed. Either, unless you know what you're doing, you can fix it. Or, if you don't really know what you're doing, either ask me or another scripter that you know to fix it for you. Alright, now, the one thing that's different is the scripts folder go into here. These five scripts are unique, so just copy and paste these over here. These two, however, on load, on update, as well as on save, on new save, which I do not have here, are going to need to be opened, and all the code is going to have to be pasted onto your current one, if you have one. If you do not have a current on load or on update script, just copy and paste this over to here, as I did. Uh, but yeah, same thing with on update. Just copy and paste all that into your current on update. Um, one, one warning here for my scripts. I did. I don't know why I did this. I shouldn't have. Should remove this. I have time dot set to six thousand and player dot set cloak to none. Uh, the time dot set will keep your time constantly at noon, and the player dot set cloak will remove your cloak. If you do not want one of these, remove them. Just delete them which I actually will right now just delete them just cause if unless you do want them there and then save exit alright so to configure this script you're going to want to go in the onload so all the variables configured there there's four categories general take you links configuration variables general goron links configuration variables and zora links um bunch of variables read the like sentences, quotes, whatever, not quotes. Read these in order to know what each variable does. It'll tell you what it does and what you have to put in for it. And yeah, that's about it. Just change all those to whatever you want it to be to configure the entire script. Uh, cost variables. There's four costs. There's for the Deku Nut, the Go on Punch, the Go on Roll, if I can find that right here and the fin Zora fin if any of those are greater than zero you're going to have to install my Majora's or I'm sorry my magic meter script if you have a different magic meter script and you'd like to continue using that um, again unless you know what you're doing ask me and I can probably help you configure this script to match this one otherwise it most likely won't work so let's say we set this equal to five and we change the values, so make sure you save. Then we're going to also have to install the My Magic Meter script. So get that from my forum page again. Open the zip file and go into your map folder. Now I have a GoE folder, I'm going to open it and open this. This doesn't match any of these, so we're just going to drag and drop. Go back, go into the sounds folder, sound. I already have a sound one. This doesn't match any of these, so again, just drag and drop. Now, go into scripts. Whoops. Scripts. Now, these two are unique scripts, so just drag and drop them. Now, these three are the three basic scripts of AdventureCraft. I do not currently have an on new save, so I'm just going to drag and drop that. However, I do have an on load and on update, so we need to open these. And again, just control C, copy all the code from here into here. Control V. Make sure you save and exit. 
uh, on update now. Um, again, I did accidentally leave this, so remove it from this script as well if you don't want it there. Okay, um, just copy and paste everything over now. Control C. Whoops. Control V. And save, and that's it for the installation. Uh, don't say that. That's the whole thing installed, both my Majora's Mask script and Magic Meter script. Now we run AdventureCraft. So, there's your map, but you're going to want to craft it. Oh, crap. So, you're going to want to craft your map. Go in. Done. Uh, da -da, da -da. So, because you went into craft map mode instead of new save, you do not need to activate map edit mode here. It doesn't make a difference when you're in crafting map. Um, but you're going to want to go into debug mode by pressing F4 and then type slash config. Enter. And go into script and here are the three basic scripts for AdventureCraft. On new save, I have an on new save. So I'm going to put that in. On load, I have an on load. So I'm going to put that in. On update, I have an on update. So I'm going to put that in. Now it's going to come up with an error at first. Just save and quit. Go back into craft a map. Rerun it. So it actually runs the on new save and on load. And there you go. It's all there. And see it's using magic. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, uh, either post on my forum page or PM me, Renounce4 here. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.